Hello YouTube, this is Noah here, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Logitech Z200 speakers. So I'm going to tell you flat right here, if you're looking for a pair of speakers for your desk and you don't want to spend a lot of money, but you want, you know, decent sound quality, then these are the speakers to get. Look no farther, because for $20 you're not going to find any better value anywhere else. So uh, these speakers are from Logitech, obviously a reputable brand and somebody you can trust. They stand behind their products and will replace them if they are faulty most of the time. I've never had any problems with Logitech's products and everything I've bought from them has lasted forever, as <laughs> it seems. But um, I'm hoping that these will last just as long as forever. And uh, they, the build quality seems very nice with these. I mean, it's not metal construction or anything, but for $20, what can you expect? It, uh, they, they look visually striking, and I feel like they would fit a black and white build like mine perfectly. There aren't that many black and white speakers that would really work in a black and white build, so if you have a black and white build and you need speakers, this is also the ones to get. I couldn't really find any other black and white speakers, but it's kind of disappointing that these don't come in a different color because some people might want these, you know, in black and red or just, you know, flat black or gray or something. Anyways, uh, it does add a lot more cable spaghetti to back to your um, the back of the desk. For me, I kind of just, um, you know, wrapped up the cables behind the speakers so that they're harder to see. But it still is a lot of spaghetti that I don't really want to deal with. But, you know, you can't really get rid of unless you have wireless speakers, which I also don't want to deal with. Anyways, for $20, these speakers are an absolute steal. And they sound pretty good. I mean, you know, you're not going to expect... $100 speaker quality here, but I mean, they're not, you know, $5 speaker quality either. I'd say for $20, they're probably the best speakers in their class. And, um, you know, paying for anything more won't really get you that much unless, you know, you're spending over a hundred bucks. I also like to say that the, um, pass through for the headphones does not have any quality drop. I cannot notice any difference in quality between plugging it straight into my computer and straight into these speakers. So if you're concerned that it'll drop the quality of your headphones, I can tell you that it does not. The volume knob is a godsend. I made a video a while back on how to make a volume shortcut. And while that is a good video to check out if you don't have a physical volume knob, it is also kind of annoying because the volume shortcut doesn't always work with 100% everything and you know things can go wrong. But this volume knob is a surefire way to have um, to be able to adjust your volume. The other thing I like to mention is that the um, headphone pass through does not, you know, cut out the audio when you use it. Something that I have noticed with um, switching between speakers and headphones, because I usually use my headphones most of the time, and I, you know, maybe once a day for like five minutes use my speakers. And the switch between using headphones and speakers is so much more seamless with these. I used to have like a little uh, crappy plug-in speaker that I just plug into the front of my case. And the problem with that was I'd have to go into my audio settings to switch the audio output to the speaker. Now with this, the audio output is just constantly set to my speakers and it treats my headphones as my speakers when I plug them in. So it's not handled by the computer, but rather by the speakers themselves. So there isn't any confusion with the computer when switching audio sources because it treats your headphones and these speakers as one audio source or one audio output. Anyways, uh, like I said, if you're looking, if you're in the market for a cheap pair of speakers or have a black and white build, then these are probably just the ticket and you should probably just get these, look no further. And um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave me a like. And if you're interested in seeing more like these, then you can come to my channel and check them out and subscribe if you're interested. Leave a comment in the comment section if you have any questions about this video or another one. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.